Hi, I'm Jude. In China, I'm known as Wild Pineapple, and this year we have traveled to Shanghai, Beijing, Anshan, Haikou, Chongqing, Shenyang, Munich, Edinburgh, London, Doha, and now Hong Kong. Many of you think we're rich and I don't need to work, which is not true at all. While we're traveling, I still work pretty much every day, but we are digital nomads, so we work online. Today I'll give you tips for how you can become a digital nomad too in four steps. I'll tell you all about how we keep making an income while traveling. Don't worry, this isn't an ad and I'm not trying to sell you some kind of course or anything like that. Also, the majority of my income does not come from YouTube or any of the videos that we make at all. So I'm not gonna just tell you to start a YouTube channel or something like that. Um, this is just going to be my personal experience and I hope it can help you realize your dream as well. The first step is identify and develop a skill that you have that you can use to make money online. So for instance, I'm a translator. I can translate online and make money this way. Some of you, if you work in an office or have any kind of desk job, then you may already be used to just working on your laptop and you can use the same skills that you use in your current job to build up your own business as a self-employed person or to find employment that lets you work completely remotely. Now, if you don't work in an office job, if you work in hospitality or a customer service position, then it might be a bit harder. Maybe try to change position within your company to be more office-based or look at your hobbies and see if you have any skills from your hobbies that you might use to make money online. For instance, when I first graduated from uni, I actually worked in a cafe for many years and I only did translations on the side as a hobby and I ended up becoming a translator. So do look at every aspect of your current work and your hobbies to find your skill that will make you money online. Now that you have identified your skill, the second step is to start a side hustle. This is particularly important if you don't currently work in an office job where the switch from office work to remote work should be easier. Do not just quit your job and hope for the best. Do start a side hustle to see how much money you can actually make each month. Set yourself a financial goal for the next six months depending on your location and your spending. If you don't have time and energy to do this because it's very hard doing this on top of full-time employment, then maybe see if you can afford to and your employer will let you cut hours for a while. I actually started my translation business as a side hustle while I was working part-time as a personal assistant in a large company. So now that you have your skill and you have proven that you can make money with it, the third step, my least favorite step is getting a good grasp of your finances. If you're an employee and you live in only one city, you have more or less the same expenses each month and you have the same income each month, obviously, then you don't need to be super smart about your finances. You should be, but you don't need to be. If you are a digital nomad, you definitely need to get smart about your finances. So many things can change. If you're self-employed, then your income will vary each month. If you switch city, then your expenses will vary greatly. You might get sick, you might need to rest for whatever reason. There are so many things that change each month, so you need to be super, super, super clear about how much you can earn, how much you can save, how much you can invest, and what your financial situation is at all times. I personally believe that wealth is not defined by income, but by expenses. So even if you don't earn that much, you can still live a very good life if you keep your expenses low, and make sure that you invest and save as much as you can each month. For instance, we actually don't earn that much at all. We're way below the average in Germany, but we always keep our expenses low when traveling. We always make sure we get good deals. We buy cheap things. For instance, this is actually the cheapest bubble tea I have found in Hong Kong so far. So now that you have your skill, you have proven that you can make money with it, and you have a firm grasp of your finances, the fourth step is to start your business or look for a fully remote job. When you're doing this, don't forget that you can look abroad too. I actually have zero customers in Germany. The customers don't care where you work as long as you deliver the work. If you're looking for employment, it might be a little bit more complicated because some companies do require their employees to be based in the country where the company is also based in. But lots of big multinational companies have employees all over the world. I said there would be four steps, but actually I'm gonna give you a little bonus fifth step, which is entirely optional, and that is build passive income. This is usually the first thing that other digital nomads will tell you to do if you want to have a business online. And passive income basically means to have, to make your money work for you. 
or to do a one-off job that just keeps giving you money. For instance, like making a video um, that will give you ad revenue for a long time. Now, I do have some passive income. I have some rental income from a flat in Edinburgh and I have obviously the income from the videos we make. Um, but to be honest, I actually don't even touch this money. I invest it or save it. And I think it is a nice thing to have, but it's definitely not a must. And it's just not realistic for most people to build passive income because it requires a very specific skill and or requires a lot of starting capital, which not everybody has. So basically my tip is, yes, passive income is great if you can build it. If not, you should still be able to just live off of your normal income, which is what I do. Okay, so this was my experience on how I built up a business that I can do online from anywhere I want and live the life I want to live. I hope my tips were helpful for you. If they are, please leave a comment. And if I forgot something or overlooked something, then please also write that in the comments and help others realize their dream. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video and see you next time.